Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to talk about one of my favorite moisturizer dupe that I am currently crazy about. So if you are not new to my channel, this is my most favorite moisturizer. That is the simple hydrating light moisturizer. I recently bought like six bottles of those and I do really adore it. But when it was not available, I found a similar alternative, which is not only fragrance free as this one, but also has a similar consistency and also a similar feel like. So stay tuned till the end to know everything that you need to know about this amazing moisturizer right here. Hey guys, so if you are seeing this face for the very first time, hi, I am Moitri Heldar. I do post a lot of beauty related content mixed with a couple of content that I really like. So if you are into that genre, then do consider subscribing and hitting on that bell notification to get notified every time I upload. And also do not forget to follow me in my social media platforms where I'm the most active and you get to be a part of what goes into my videos, especially my Instagram, where I do come live to answer back to all of your skincare queries every single week. So without any further ado, let's just get ahead with today's video which is the review of the Aveeno Skin Relief Moisturizing Lotion. Now just a quick brand summary, Aveeno is I think a UK or a US based brand. Aveeno is famous for their body care products and I do enjoy their body lotion quite a lot. But recently when I came across this moisturizer, I was mind blown how amazing and how similar it felt compared to the simple moisturizer. Now coming to the actual review, I'm going to quickly brief of the claims of the product. It claims to keep your skin moisturized for 24 hours with soothing protection against dryness. Now, this particular moisturizer claim itself to be great for sensitive and very dry skin, but I'm a combination skin and I still really like it. I will get into it, the compatibility and the usability of this product in the later part of the video. And it also claims to be fragrance free. Now, coming to the most important part of any of my reviews, which is the ingredient list. Now, because most of you guys urged me to do a complete ingredient list analysis, I will do that as well as stating the important fact that you do need to keep in mind. Now it does has a base layer of water. Now water is a really common base in many of the skincare products. The next ingredient is glycerin. Now glycerin is a very cheap yet effective humectant. It not only softens our skin but also has the humectant power. Now the next ingredient is a little bit tricky because it is a positively charged surfactant. A surfactant in a moisturizer is added mostly because of the overall viscosity. This particular ingredient right here does has an allergy rate but for my sensitive skin which is a combination skin didn't react to it it also has a little bit of moisturizing and soothing properties the next ingredient is petrolatum everybody who thinks vaseline or petroleum jelly is bad i think you should move on from that fact petroleum is a byproduct of the refined crude oil but you are not putting crude oil it is a much refined version of it the so petrolatum is mainly added to a product for overall occlusiveness it is an amazing occlusive agent and vaseline was really popular for the whole occlusive and you healing your cracked heels this product does gives you a decent amount of occlusiveness which is required for your skin the next ingredient is a fatty alcohol mainly acetyl alcohol it does soften your skin and do not be scared of the term alcohol mainly alcohol are of two kinds the drying one or the denatured alcohol or normal alcohol and the second are, are the fatty alcohols which does helps your lipid barrier so do not fear of this particular alcohol the next ingredient is dimethicone now dimethicone is basically a silicone it is not bad for you and the other influencers are telling you silicones in general are not really bad they are the most cheapest yet effective occlusives and humectants and moisturizing agent that helps to retain water silicones are amazing and it also does gives you that silky feeling of any of the particular product and make a particular product cosmetically elegant dimethicone is a man-made silicone and it is the most common silicone available in the skincare market it also contains another alcohol that is the benzyl alcohol now this is a particular alcohol which is not a fat alcohol but it is a preservative that is added to a product it is a decent preservative and it didn't react to my skin now the next couple of ingredients are all colloidal oats it has oat flour oat seed oil and also oat extract and Avino does state that it has prebiotic triple oat complex so it has three type of oat complex that does has a prebiotic property prebiotic if you guys don't know are really good for our gut health so basically when you consume oats the most of the prebiotics that are present in the 
food goes undigested from your stomach to your intestines and the intestines are the homes of the microbiome of your gut health and it does act as a food factor for the microbiome environment in your intestines and i'm talking specifically about the non-refined oats that is not the instant oats i'm specifically talking about the non-processed steel cut oats or any other from a whole oat that does has that bran layer and in skincare also it is shown to be a great skin soother and also it does promote the overall microbiome that is present on top of our skin now oats contain a lot of different thing it contain lipids which is great for your lipid barrier system it contain beta glucan it contains omega 3 and 6 fatty acids so oats are really amazing the next ingredient is shea butter now shea butter if you have fungal acne it might be of a concern but i do not think shea butter is bad and especially you do not have a scientific backing regarding shea butter is bad for your melasesia if you guys are really curious about fungal acne you can check my fungal acne video but it does contain shea butter which is an emollient it does soften your skin and it also provides a great amount of occlusiveness so it's amazing and lastly it contains sodium chloride you guys know it's just just a fancy name of salt and again add it for the overall viscosity now coming to the couple of product specifications going straight with the texture now this particular part is really important especially for this video now this moisturizer feels exactly like the simple moisturizer it goes on pretty smoothly it absorbs nicely and it does not leave any kind of residue because in the winters when i do apply simple moisturizer it does moisturize my skin up to that 4 hour mark and that is the reason why i do not choose the simple moisturizer as my nighttime winter moisturizer i rather choose this one because it does provides that 8 to 9 hours moisturization that i really need in the nighttime it is very light and fast absorbing and it does have a similar feel like compared to the simple moisturizer coming to the potency it is a basic moisturizer if you are into mixing a lot of actives this moisturizer is perfect for you because it doesn't contain any sort of that will react to other kinds of active it is an amazing moisturizer and will suit a vast amount of audience so it can be pretty much used by anyone even teenagers like 13 14 15 16 years old can even use it and i get a lot of questions regarding that age genre so this moisturizer is perfect for you guys coming to the packaging it does comes in a plastic tube and tube packaging is one of my favorite in terms of moisturizer it does comes out pretty easily and you can really squeeze out the remaining bit of the product and i really wish simple would come with the tube packaging rather than this tub packaging quite a hassle to bring out the last bit of the product that is remaining now coming to the price range now this particular product is really affordable almost affordable as this one now simple one retails for about 315 to 350 rupees for 125 ml this one i got it for 280 rupees for 71 ml and you do need to keep in mind this one requires a lot less product to actually give you the moisturization effect because this one is much lighter than this one so it does last you for quite a while Now coming to the application. Now this is a very simple straight forward moisturizer. You apply it before your sunscreen or your sleeping mask and after all of the steps like your serum, cleansing, toning, ampoule and other stuff. And if you are a lot into like high potent actives, you can either use it as a base before putting all those high potent actives. or what you can do you can mix your actives with this to make your skin much more familiar with that active so this is a perfect like in between product which can perfectly fit in your existing skincare routine now coming on to my thoughts now i really love this product the only ingredient i'm concerned of is that surfactant right there but it is meant for sensitive skin and my skin is sensitive so my sensitive skin is approved of this particular moisturizer this is an amazing moisturizer i know simple moisturizer is a really well formulated moisturizer this one i am not sure they are putting the whole ingredient list because it does feels cosmetically elegant as a simple one but it does has a short ingredient list so either this formulation is amazing with only those ingredients or they are hiding something so avino has a lot of different controversy regarding that but this product did suit me it did suit me pretty well and i'm using it for like 3 weeks or 4 weeks since i purchased it i know that simple is out of stock most of the times i purchase simple from amazon because in nika you do get a lot of hyped up prices this is most cheaply available in amazon you will find the link in the bottom box below in winters it will suit oily skin people but 
in summers it might not suit you but as a night cream it will suit in any weather it is not only great for dry skin but also combination skin like mine who get a lot of dry patches now going straight with the pros and cons the pros being it is not only affordable but it is really accessible especially in amazon currently it is very lightweight it is very fast absorbing and if you are a fan of simple you are going to love it and lastly it does has a decent ingredient list and i am in love with this product coming to the cons however the only ingredient i am concerned of is that surfactant so if it didn't contain that i think i'm going to give it a no con product but it does contains that so it's a biggest con of this product and lastly the availability time so i think it is available still now but it might go out of stock in the uk or us website i have not seen this product and only in the canadian website i have seen this product either you can get it currently so if you like simple you can purchase this but if you are seeing this video at least a year from now i don't think you can get it so those two were the only con i have coming on to my verdict as i've said i absolutely love it when you are not getting this try buying this try giving this a chance because this particular moisturizer is my favorite i wanted to find an alternative on the days i'm run out of simple and i do need a moisturizer which will suit exactly like simple first of all it has a similar kind of a base ingredients such as water glycerin cetyl alcohol sodium chloride and even oat seed oil as this one but it also feels nice doesn't oxidize us you makeup and it also is a similar price point as compared to simples i am highly suggesting you to try this for at least once so that was the review let me know how you felt about this video in the comment box below like this video if you like my content share this video to any of your friends who is a fan of simple moisturizer but currently could not get it and want a similar alternative and lastly subscribe to my channel hit on that bell notification and i will see you in the next video so bye bye and take care